of Famers have to play well, but Rajon Rondo is still the key in terms of how far this team can go. Yeah, Coach Doc Rivers believes that they're playing with great spirit right now and great pace to their play, and that starts with Rondo pushing the ball in transition, attacking off pick and rolls, and generally trying to create more offense than he has in the past. If you look at his numbers, the number that stands out to me is his free throw attempts are up, meaning he's trying to get into the paint more and more. In the last several weeks, again, with his name involved in a trade rumor all the time, playing some of his best basketball. Always look at our star. Vision, as you saw earlier when he came out for the layup lines, he was wearing a pair of dark sunglasses, and that's because he got poked in his right eye on Friday night when the Celtics were playing the Trailblazers. He was poked in the right eye by Marcus Camby, and even when he came in for our interviews yesterday, that eye was very red. He said it didn't hurt at all, but it was very sensitive to light and giving him headaches. He was hoping to wear those shades during the game, and Joey Crawford was actually going to let him wear them. But then league officials intervened and said he can wear glasses, but they've got to be lighter so that other players can see his eyes. That kind of defeats the purpose because he really needed the dark glasses to block the light. So now he's just going without. You agree with their decision, correct? Does Bynum try to get it in? Oh, I don't even know. I don't... <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Shouldn't you already have a rule about that? Or are you going to wait till like three minutes before a game? Well, Joe Crawford, as we said, as a foul, as Rondo goes to the basket. In 35 years officiating, has never seen a player attempt to wear those. We've seen guys wear goggles. Amari Stoudemire, who had surgery on his eyes several years ago, he wears them. Obviously, guys wear them for broken noses. Bring it, Bull Jabbar, for so many years. And Rondo still that right eye. Blood shot from that point that Lisa told you about. It was a week ago today that Rondo had that spectacular game against the Knicks with the 18 points, 17 rebounds, 20 assists. And only Steve Nash averages more assists per game. This is Allen's jump shot too strong. Pass the rebound, poked away by Bryant. Bass gets it back. Rondo again, Kobe Bryant giving him the opening, and Rondo knocks that one down. There was a 7-2 turnaround by the Lakers. 24. And this is how Bryant's going to defend Rondo, basically gifting him those two point shots. He's going to be able to shoot as many of those as he wants. So, late clock, the ball should find Rondo, and he's going to have to walk in and make a number of those. He has stretches in his career where he knocks them down on a regular basis. Other times, the hesitancy, and you see him just not confident shooting it. Rondo gets inside, pretty play, and left-handed layup. I think Mike Brown will be disappointed in that, not allowing him to drive the ball. Important development for the Celtics. Well, when they get Rondo on a switch against our test, I mean, World Peace, World Peace doesn't back off and cushion him. He's able to drive to the rim. Celtics down two. Today, Rajon Rondo is showing how he can beat you in so many ways with that spectacular performance against the Knicks. So, Lakers defending him a certain way here this afternoon, Jeff. Yeah, and they're just going to give him space so that he can both pass and shoot. Here, Bryant's just zoning up the lane, trying to shut off Pierce's driving lane, and then he's given help on an ISO. Again, just gifting him these mid range jump shots, and Rondo's going to have to take and make. Here, good balance, and sticks it in. He's going to have those opportunities the entire game. He also, too, when teams play off him, he can see the floor better. In some ways, it can benefit him, too, right? There's no doubt that it's just like a quarterback in football without a pass rush. You give someone like Rondo time and space, he will pass the ball on target. And I like this move from Doc Rivers. Rondo, two fouls, keeping him in the game. Again, Bryant playing way off. Steve Blake's in the game. He's guarding Ray Allen. Michael Petrus knocks down a three. Petrus missed Friday's game with a sword remaining here in the second. Nice feed, Ray Allen to Rondo. Again, as Kobe Bryant is zoning up the lane, 
Rondo. Eight. Comes up short. Rebound Garnett. Rondo pushing. Drives. Nice feed to Pierce. And Pierce finally sees it go in. Quickness from Rondo setting that up. And Mike, you're talking about shot selection. One thing is a... Bryant gets inside. Nice fake and a bit of Batson puts it in. Boy, that's pretty. Rondo's got time. Rondo pulls up a three. Puts it in at the buzzer. Rajon Rondo quickly gets up the court and knocks down the three-pointer. Rondo doesn't take a lot of threes. This year, just four of 17. Uh, that one pulls the Celtics within two. Got it with 3.8. Arguably the fastest in the league easily gets it off Beautiful stroke No question about it our AT&T court vision and anytime you're talking about Celtics court vision You start with Ray John Rondo. He had to lose the shades, but he didn't lose his game here finding bass as He drives it to the rim and then pushing in transition finding Pierce for the layup, but it's not even, not always when he has the ball here, he recognizes the wide open Brandon Bass, who knocks in his checkup and had some hard irregularities. Went to his own doctors. Pierce comes up with a steal, a two on one break for the Celtics the other way. Pierce to Rondo, and Rondo lays it in. And they just want to do some further tests before they clear him to come back and play. It doesn't look like he's going to play, certainly in the next. The airport in Denver is like four hours away from downtown Denver. It's, it you, certainly seems like a pass of the steal and a nice feed to Rondo. You usually get in about 4 to 5 a.m. when you travel from right. to Denver. They might as well just get Denver that way. And the Boston Celtics, after trailing by 15 in the first quarter, have their first lead of the afternoon. And their defensive intensity has picked up. Ryan, a couple of jabs and misfires. Garnett, the rebound to Rondo. Rondo goes right at Fisher. Nice defense, better offense. And a quick timeout from Mike Brown as the Celtics have a three point lead. What a turnaround for Boston. Again, turning the Lakers over as Bynum tries this little outlet to Bryant, leads to a basket. And then. Rondo's pushing it and really no urgency by the Laker bigs to get back and protect the basket. That's just too easy for the Celtics. Receiver this season. Who was that receiver? Perhaps Rajon Rondo. See, if the lockout was, was going to continue to, if I knew it would be as long as it was, I would try to play for actually professional football. Um, I think I'm a pretty good athlete. I'm, pretty blessed and talented but I'm not gonna say it's the easy job that I could have just went out there and did anything but I would, I would definitely gave it a shot I was actually serious I talked to coach uh, Belichick about it but um, I, I had a contract already for the Celtics and it wouldn't have worked out he was serious and Belichick told him he could come on out but Rondo checked with his agent and according to his contract no <laughs> you get 55 million from the Celtics we can't take a chance but he was from all reports Talking to people growing up in Louisville, he was a terrific high school quarterback. Now, he wouldn't have been a quarterback, but he said he thinks he could be a very good NFL receiver. Well, <laughs> when he makes his timely perimeter shots, they can score enough to play with anybody. Rondo, nice fluid jump shot there. Rondo's got 18. Just great to watch him play. Now see how Minnesota is able to, to deal with that blow. Ray Allen gets it to go. And a tough afternoon for Ray Allen shooting the ball. Just two for six, but it brings a highly talented team. Kyle Gasol cannot get it. Steensma with his third rebound, trying to help out off the bench. Rondo pulls up, nails the jumper again. 20 points for Rondo. He's hit his perimeter shot here this afternoon. And back at Steensma, the rebound. Teams has played very well today. Rondo Allen. Inside the Pierce. Nice pass from Rondo for his sixth assist. 
Celtics have 25 assists. On Who's a good defender? Is on Kobe Bryant. Gasol lobs it in. Bynum just didn't have a handle on it. Rondo drives down the lane and lays it in. Rondo wanted a foul. Kobe Bryant wanted a foul. Nobody's happy. Now we're all tied. I love when they don't give those calls. Turn it over for the 17th time. Rondo's pushing. Bryant just steps in front. Garnett really doesn't run him over. I think that's an outstanding no call. Rondo thought he got hit, obviously. And down at the other end, that was a poor angled entry pass by what is normally a very reliable passer in Pau Gasol to Bynum. Good help from Garnett. Petrus did not give up on the play. Rondo to Allen. Allen for three. That's good. And the Celtics back up by three. Great defense down the other end. And that's where Allen is so dangerous. The transition three. Great find by Rondo. But it started defensively. Petrus not really moving his feet well today. So he got blown by by Bryant. Garnett comes over in support. Terrific contest. contest. And then Rondo putting it right on the money to one of the great shooters to ever play the game. Team and the sport that he came out there and played. Here, here. And the foul is going to be called against World Peace trying to fight through a Rondo screen. There was some high forearms and elbows. And now the Lakers in the penalty. But I don't think that's a bad, I mean, it's not what he wanted. I, I don't see that, but you know, Rondo shooting free throws is usually to the advantage of the defense. 58% for the season is Rondo. He's two for three this afternoon. He leads all scores with 23. And two perfect free throws there. Celtics back up by two. He has played a masterful game here tonight. 24 points, 10 assists, running the show for the Boston Celtics.